So now in this video I thought I would uh, test out an integrated circuit that I haven't uh, used before, I don't think. So I got this integrated circuit from my uh, CMOS kit right there. Um, so you can see here we have a NOT gate, but it's not a Schmidt trigger NOT gate. And uh, the output doesn't jump to either high or low either. It uh, actually moves, but uh, it moves when our signal voltage, it moves the most when our signal voltage is in, in the middle ground region and uh, not so much when we get to the farther end right there. So this integrated circuit, we'll uh, look at it in more detail coming up, can go from three to 15 volts. So we're gonna jump up to uh, 15 volts and uh, I'm surprised how much current uh, we got there. Um, but in case we'll come back here and Again, this is a new integrated circuit for me. I got a lot more that I could study it. So it's at 15. You can see now the middle ground region is uh, way up uh, there. It's off the screen. Uh, we can get a better view of what's going on with 10 volts. But we can go up to 15 volts. That's the main thing. But it's uh, behaving the same uh, pretty much regardless of voltage. So uh, maybe 15 was like pushing the limits because uh, we didn't have much current there when it was lower. And one more thing before we move along, I noticed uh, while I'm changing the uh, voltage there, you can see the amount of uh, current that we have for whatever reason is changing vastly too. Looks like when they're both uh, more towards the center, it's a bit higher there. The integrated circuit we're looking at is the CD4069 right there. The component I have also has BE afterwards, so it's probably an improved version. Um, but in case, I always verify with the data sheet of the particular version you're using. You have to uh, power the integrated circuit, top right positive supply, bottom left negative supply, and then there are six uh, NOT gates on there. And uh, on top is the input, and below is the output for each one of them. And so A is the top left there. We got the input, our signal, and right below it is our output. That's where I took my two measurements. And you'll notice the input of the other NOT gates are to the positive supply. Um, both of these measurements went really haywire when I just left them floating. So now coming back to the sheet, this is the schematic symbol of a NOT gate that's not a Schmidt trigger. There's another uh, symbol in there if there's a Schmidt trigger. So we had A, our input, where the trim pot was, and we were measuring that with uh, one of the uh, oscilloscope inputs and uh, channels. And then we had the output, inverted A, so second pin down, pin number two actually. We were also measuring that the output was floating, we weren't sending it to anything. And here's the NOT gate symbol. When the input is high, the output's low. When the input is low, the output is high. That's what inverted is. Um, but these are not uh, just straight up high and lows, as we saw before. The uh, voltage actually uh, can be any range of voltage along the supply. Um, it's just not linear to what we were giving at the input. And it is 4th of July, so you may hear some uh, bangs in the background. Now, when it comes to how much current uh, it can output according to the data sheet you might get like 0.88 milliamps of current at 5 volts so um, not even enough to light an LED or something 10 volts I mean you could light an LED dim or something but it's like 2.25 uh, milliamps uh, 15 volts so like 8.8 .8 milliamps of current so I didn't uh, have usually I like to give like an LED demonstration or something but I didn't really want to mess with it on this one I have other integrated circuits where um, that was a real struggle and uh, so I just didn't add them. Um, but in case, uh, since there's this wide range of voltage, I didn't put a specific one there. If you just see plus VCC, that means there's a range of positive supply voltages that you could work with. 